Diddy has been accused of sexual abuse and a plethora of other crimes by his ex-girlfriend Cassie in a bombshell lawsuit that details the disturbing claims. Cassie named Diddy in a federal lawsuit she filed Thursday in New York in which she makes a number of allegations against Diddy, including claims of human trafficking and a shocking claim that he broke into her home in 2018 and forced sex on her. The alleged abuse Cassie says came toward the end of their relationship in 2018 when she decided to leave Diddy for good. In her suit, she says they went on to dinner one night that year, which Cassie thought would be a discussion on how they could each move on. Afterwards, she said they went to her place but claims Diddy forced himself into her apartment despite her saying no. Cassie then claims Diddy forcibly kissed her and then forced himself on her, all while she said no. In the aftermath of this alleged incident, Cassie says she tried separating herself completely from Diddy, moving away, and cutting all ties with Bad Boy while under a lot of stress. While this claim is for sure the most shocking, it's just a small fraction of what else is alleged in her lawsuit, including years of what Cassie claims were physical and emotional abuse at the hands of Diddy such as beatings and stompings. He alleges he dished out regularly over the course of their long relationship, which Cassie says started in 2005. Through their time together, Cassie claimed Diddy would regularly ply her with drugs and alcohol, make her carry firearms around in her purse while out in public, and worse yet, she alleges he forced her to have sex with several different male prostitutes over the years across multiple different jurisdictions. Cassie claims Diddy will film these coordinated acts with her and the prostitutes whom she claims were hired by Diddy and pleasure himself while watching the intercourse. What the fuck? Cassie also alleges that Diddy once said he was going to blow up Kid Cudi's car while he was home after learning of a brief relationship he and Cassie shared around 2011 or so and goes on to claim that in 2012, Kid Cudi's car did in fact blow up in his driveway. She doesn't say explicitly that Diddy orchestrated it, but she does say the fact that it happened like he threatened, terrified her and made her fear for her safety. It goes without saying these accusations are absolutely jaw-dropping, but Cassie is insistent they happen, saying, and I read, after years in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. Cassie claims to have suffered greatly from what she allegedly endured with Diddy and says she still deals with the repercussions today. Diddy, meanwhile, has come out with a firm defense calling Cassie's claim a straight-up financial shakedown through his attorney saying, Mr. Combs boldly denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Miss Cassie's persistent demand of $30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as a blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Miss Cassie has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. So yeah, that's what Diddy's lawyer had to say. Cassie is seeking major damages of about $30 million.